Hello, a very good morning to you wherever you are and a very good morning to coach of Team Multimedia, Dominic Kisiyeboa. Yes, uh, he has uh, selected me as uh, number one uh, goalkeeper for Team Multimedia at this year's Joy Sports Invitational Tournament, which is happening on Saturday at the uh, Lizzy Sports Complex. So I am going to, okay, so the sound man, Dennis, uh, will also play in defense, but that will be on our coach, that's uh, Dominic Kisiyeboa. So if he has not selected you, Dennis, then I'm sorry. Uh, you're not going to be the defender, but I am going to be in post. And uh, Samir Inchi, who is director of sports, has also signed. So no goalkeeper, no challenger, team multimedia uh, goalkeeper, Benedicto. So you see me uh, on Saturday at the Elysee Sports Complex. Well, we're going to go through the sports. Uh, we've got a lot to tell you this morning. From Indiana Stars, uh, their campaign uh, in the CAF Confederation Cup. We'll also, we'll talk about the FIFA uh, CAF uh, liaison uh, team as well as the normalization committee, which is set to be put in place uh, by FIFA CAF to oversee the activities of football in the country. Also, we've got some international stories to tell you. Last night, UEFA Champions League matches were played. The draw is expected to be held. Today, we'll see where the likes of defending champions, uh, Real Madrid, and also last year's uh, losing finals, the finalist, Liverpool, uh, will be. We also have news on the Black Star list team. They are expected to leave Accra for Niger today for the uh, Zona qualifying uh, championship for the African Junior Championship, which will be held next year in Tanzania. But we start with Adriana Stars, and they, they ended their CAF Confederation Cup campaign on an embarrassing note as they lost 6-0 to Moroccan side Raja Casablanca yesterday. Now, the Moroccans' uh, victory sees them leapfrog uh, the top of Group A on 11 points with DR Congo side AS Vitor Club uh, dropping to second after they were beaten by Asegni Moses in Abidjan in a concurrent match. Now we have highlights of the Indiana Stars and Raja Casablanca game for you. Diana Stars uh, are playing from uh, left to right on your screen and Raja Casablanca getting in the third goal it was a demolition exercise <laughs> on the part of uh, the uh, Ghanaian team and Raja getting their third goal and you can see how excited the players are as well as their fans because they needed this victory and at this point they were leading the Diana Stars uh, by three goals and then it didn't stop there uh, they were still piling pressure getting in uh, more men up front and there you see the second uh, the fourth goal coming for Raja Casablanca and surprisingly the four goals were scored in the first half of the game Raja uh, in an all-white outfit playing at the uh, uh, home ground uh, in Morocco and there the fourth goal coming and the players uh, will trip onto the pitch to celebrate with a goal scorer at this point the Diana Stars didn't know what they were doing they were still trying to you know, get themselves together to see if they can get uh, something out of the game. But it looked impossible as uh, at the uh, 81st minute, Raja had scored five goals and were waiting to add the last one, uh, which they were going to make six. And there you go, the last ball coming, Raja, nice ball into the penalty. And the uh, striker connected very well past goalkeeper Joseph Ado as they uh, finished the Diana Stars by six goals to nil. Alright, so the story of Indiana Stars uh, finishing last in their group uh, in their campaign at this year's uh, CAF Confederation Cup. They lost their last game, as you just saw, highlights uh, to Raja Casablanca of Morocco by six goals to nil. Wow, what a result it was uh, for Indiana Stars uh, yesterday. Well, we have to move on, and FIFA has announced the mandate of the normalization committee, which, according to them, shall perform its functions and properly fulfilled, but no later than. March 31st, that's next year, 2019. So what is the uh, mandate of the committee? As Arabidi Akon has been telling us uh, more about the work of the Normalization Committee. The Normalization Committee's mandate will include the following task. To run the GFA's daily affairs and cooperate with the Special Tax Force once it's been set up by FIFA, CAF and the Government of Ghana. To review the GFA status to ensure compliance with the requirements of FIFA and CAF, particularly Article 15 of the FIFA statutes. And once the GFA statutes meet the requirements of FIFA and CAF, 
to organize and conduct elections of a GFA executive committee on the basis of the revised GFA statutes. And well, in terms of the composition of the uh, committee, which is said to be announced by close of this week, information uh, Minister Designate Kuju Opon Kuma confirms a FIFA Cup delegation are expected in town to complete the process. The final major pillar in that letter we received from FIFA under the signature of Madame Fatma Samura, Secretary General, is that in the coming days a delegation from FIFA and CAF are expected in Ghana to assess the suitability of the names that we have proposed. Um, or the names proposed by the government of Ghana for that normalization committee. It is our expectation that this will pave the way for the reorganization of Ghana football moving forward. A little note in that letter is that um, the specified period of time during which the normalization committee shall perform its functions shall expire when all of the above mentioned tasks have been properly fulfilled, but by no later than the 31st of March 2019. So we expect all of this football reform exercise to be completed by the 31st of March 2019. All right, so, all right, that's information uh, Minister Designate Kojo Upon Kuma speaking there. So, we see how that will go. But I made mention of the Black Starlet team, that's the uh, Ghana's uh, male under 17 team in my intro. Well, they are expected to leave Accra uh, for uh, Niger later today for the qualifying zone of the African Junior Championship. Now, what's going to happen is there's a new format introduced by CAF for that competition. So Ghana is going to participate in the qualifying zones, uh, which uh, will start on Sunday, which is September 2 to September 15th. And then if they're able to uh, come top, Ghana will qualify for uh, next year's African Junior Championship, which will be hosted in Tanzania. Definitely we'll bring you more on this. Uh, there is an interview uh, we had uh, with the uh, spokesperson of the Luzon team, that's Dan Kukuraboa, which uh, will bring you that interview at two when you join us on Sports Today. Bye. South African uh, Kevin Anderson is through to the next one of the US Open. Well, matches uh, will be played today. We'll bring you that on Sports Today at 2 when you join my colleague Nathan Lato. But I'm so excited uh, to talk about the Joy Sports Invitation at all because of the role I'm going to play. And I've already told you that I will keep for Team Multimedia. So I've got my gloves, I've got my boots, and everything ready. I'm just praying that my coach, Dominic Isiabwa, and director of sports, I mean, she will not disappoint me and go and get a different goalkeeper and put me on the bench. That will not happen. I mean, it won't happen. But, uh, you know, in terms of the things that are coming, uh, First National Bank, yes, uh, First National Bank, they also uh, poised for action and they say that uh, they are coming to win everything and take all the girls away on September 1 at the LZ Sports Complex. <laughs> We can go for we've won other tournaments and we keep winning and we want to win more. Can you give me just one tournament that you won? Let me there are so many of them. <laughs> the last one that you the English Premiership. Even the Ghana League, the Premier League itself, we've won it before. Ghana Premier League. Be before before the Nante Tikin, we had won it already. See, football is played on the field. It's not what we do in the room that determines what, we, what is going to happen on the field. And this is not my first time in participating in this tournament. And I can assure you, we'll go there, we'll win and we'll bring the trophy home. And I'm going to go.
All right, so Team uh, First National Bank says, well, they are taking over, and uh, we'll see if they indeed will take over on Saturday at the Lizzie Sports Complex. So you have to join us, and as I've always been saying, well, and Walker could do Youngson, all will play a part uh, in the, uh, if, well, if, if they won't play, they'll be on the bench to chase uh, the, 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 the guys that will be on the pitch to play. But then is a sound man, I uh, will play myself, I'll play. Coach, I know you are watching, Dominic Isiabua, please put me in the post, okay, please, I beg. Echo, Echo, Derek, Echo, Sam also says uh, he will play. I don't know how he's going to play uh, with his big tummy, but we'll see. We'll work on that and ensure that uh, he gets uh, some, at least some game time uh, on Saturday. So it's a Joy Sports Invitational Tournament. Tomorrow, the big draw will be held and will be live on TV at exactly 2 p.m. Nathan Lato Madrid, that the draw uh, with our other uh, participants uh, will be here. So we'll go through the draw. And then the big day, which is Saturday, which is just two days away at the Lizzie Sports Complex. That's how we end sports this morning. I'm Benedict Wilson. So thanks so much for accompanying. Uh, join us at 2 on Sports Today. Until then, the show returns uh, after this short break. Uh, we'll continue for you. Don't go away.